Welcome again to Visuals. It's been um, some time since the last little how-to. I'll try to get more out faster for you guys. Um, but we're going to just continue. So, with just two clips, we're going to go over the shake effect. We've already done a tutorial on the pixelate effect and on the particle field effect. So now we're going to talk about the shake effect. This isn't one of the, you know, coolest effects, but it does have, you know, its uses. So for example, on the X axis, we're now adjusting, increasing the shake. That's the basic concept. It looks good on drops, intense parts of the song. We can also slow it down or speed it up. The actual slider here is kind of reverse intuitive, but um, it makes sense in the math behind the scenes. And um, we'll probably adjust that in the future for you, make it simpler. Um, there are some audio reactive effects. Um, so if you sweep, it'll sweep the X axis. Doesn't work with any other axis. React is very useful though. It's going to react, test, test. Okay, so let's see what happens if we use the shake effect in combination with a few other effects. Let's go with some music. Now all of a sudden it's like you can't talk about that. But this is what we live in. This is you know, like a, a choice. You know what I mean? It's either you really kill people, do dope, sell dope. I'm going to add the yet effect. So I just added the uh, vignette effect, adds this edge, and then I'm going to also add the trails. Uh, that's pretty dope. Anti-aliasing will make it a little cleaner. It's um, hard to notice, but it's there. Okay, so you can see what I did there was I added, I turned up the y-axis of the shake, and now we've got this more diagonal action going. So what I just did there was increase the speed of the shake, um, which, you know, makes it jittery. Um, back to the music.
make the shake reactive. And really what that's going to do is, oh, let's just watch and see. Okay, so I've turned off like the mirroring and everything, so you can really get an idea of what the shake is doing. So what I just did there was I put the shake on to um, beat, which will turn the effect off and on every other beat detection event. And that makes it look kind of nice and fluid, or it gives it more of like a spaced out feel, which uh, can work. There's many different options, and you know, you come up with what you think looks good. It's very subjective in that way. All right, let's uh, keep doing some fun examples, and then um, we'll play it out. But that's basically the shake effect. Um, all right.